this news is your local election headquarters tonight we're getting our first look at how massachusetts voters feel about this year's big races including governor and u.s senate a new survey released today is the first conducted in the bay state since the primary i with this news reporter ted nisi has been going through the numbers and joins us now with the results ted well, Shannon, Mike, this new poll of 500 Massachusetts voters was conducted by the Boston Globe and Suffolk University. It shows two very different incumbents are both in strong shape as they seek re-election. Let's take a look. First, you have the race for governor. Republican incumbent Charlie Baker starts out with a big lead over his Democratic opponent, Jay Gonzalez. The poll finds Baker at 55 percent and Gonzalez far behind at 28 percent. The results look similar in the race for U.S. Senate, except the political parties are flipped. For Senate, incumbent Democrat Elizabeth Warren is well ahead of GOP nominee Jeff Deal. Warren at 54% and Deal at 24%. One reason Deal is struggling may be his strong support for President Trump. Massachusetts voters give the president dismal marks in this new poll, with only 22% of Massachusetts voters approving of Trump's job performance and 73% disapproving. Now, if you're wondering who's leading in this year's campaigns in Rhode Island, you won't have to wait much longer. Eyewitness News and Roger Williams University will release our newest exclusive poll of Rhode Island voters starting tomorrow night at 5. Our new survey will have updated numbers on who's leading in the race for Rhode Island governor, as well as how voters feel about the Paw Sox moving to Worcester. That all starts on Eyewitness News tomorrow night at 5 on WPRI 12 and WPRI.com. I'm Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News.